if you want to take your edits to the next level and create stunning 3D transitions like Magnates Media. You're in the right place. Most editors don't know that they can make this transition in CapCut. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this parallax transition that commonly used by Magnets Media with no expensive software. No complicated tools, just pure creativity in this simple editing software. And once you learn this, your transitions will never be the same again. So watch the video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, if you want the assets I used in this video, you can join my Patreon. There, you can download all the assets, project files, and even ask me anything about editing in the community chat. So join now by clicking the link in the description to level up your editing skill. Alright, now let's jump to the tutorial. So now, I have already prepared the assets here. As for the assets themselves, these are a few images that I created using AI. I separated the objects in the background into three different files. I've previously explained how to separate images in my previous video, which you can check in the top right corner. Okay, now I will start importing the assets for the first clip. Make sure to arrange the layers in order for this first clip, starting with the background, then the scientist, and the silhouette. First, I will create a parallax zoom in motion using the keyframe on the transform to add a zoom in effect to each layer, and it's very simple. First, add a keyframe at the first frame, then move forward a few seconds, add another keyframe, and upscale it. Now, just apply this step to each layer. And as you can see, the result looks like this. After that, I will start creating a transition to the next clip using a parallax sliding motion to the right direction. And the step is almost the same as before, we just need to move forward a few seconds from the last keyframe. Add another keyframe on the transform, and then reposition all the assets to the right until they disappear from the frame. Do this for each layer. Now, to smooth out the transition movement, I will change the keyframe curve to ease. We just need to press Alt plus K, then right click on the keyframe and select ease. Do this for all keyframes, including the zoom in keyframes. Okay, now position the playhead at the last keyframe then press W to trim all the layers. Now, let's move on to importing all the assets for the second clip. Here, I have the background, this building, and also some grass. For the grass picture here, I will change its color to solid black to turn it into a silhouette, just like in the first clip. Go to Adjustment, then set Exposure, Contrast and Black to the lowest settings, then position it in the bottom right corner because in the first clip, I placed the silhouette in the bottom left corner, so they need to be opposite each other. Then, compound the layers. Now, we just need to animate them. The steps are not much different from what we did earlier. Let's start it. First, I will add a keyframe at the first frame, and another a few seconds later just match it with the keyframe intervals from the first clip. Now position the playhead at the first keyframe then, reposition all the assets to the left until they move out of the frame. And the result will look like this. Now, you just need to smooth the motion again by changing keyframe curves, just like we did in the first clip. Now, select all the layers in the second clip and move them slightly to the left until they overlap with the first clip. Now, I will smooth out the edges of the backgrounds in both clips to make the transition even more seamless. Select the background layer, then go to mask and choose rectangle. Upscale the mask, and adjust the feather. 
Do the same step for the background in the second clip. And that's the video for today. Leave a like if this video helped you. Thank you guys for watching and thanks to my patrons for supporting this channel. If you want to join it you can click the link in the description. And here is the final result.